the countertop is getting clearer and clearer. That's all trash. I have to open up that box and then it'll be trash too. I ordered my entertainment center. I just took a chance on it. Hopefully it matches. If not, we will be sending it back, but I think we'll be a-okay with it. Hi, April. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Patsy. Hi, Becca Lynn. We're gonna have ourselves a little field day with all of these great comments that I saw this morning <clears throat> while I was um, laying in bed. Because when I lay in bed, sometimes I like look at comments and go respond to people. Um, like if they need like the supporters link or if they asked a question and I missed it. But not all the time. But this morning I did. I was like, you know what? I have the time. Why not? Um, because I woke up this morning and my spasms were so, so, so bad. Um, it's because baby boy is kicking like crazy in there. Um, I was going to make uh, a crawfish seafood boil, but I also need to eat the lamb meat. So I'm going to do another um, um, gyro and then if I want to snack I can snack on some crawfish because crawfish aren't really that fulfilling with the amount I have so it wouldn't be a good lunch I really hate that I did the little butterfly cut because I hate that I can't pin back my bangs now I mean they're growing but um, I need supporters link. Message my page girl and I can get it to you. <sighs> I don't think anyone else can get it for me. But message my page if you want the supporters link. But we're playing around with the couch and the cushion colors we want. Um, we put the white ones we had on there, and I think I'm just going to stick with cream and beige pillows and white, um, and then, like, the yellow will be, like, accent pillows for when I decorate, you know? No, Carla, it comes pre-made, so it's already seasoned, so I didn't have to do anything. for um for dinner meatloaf some french fries and yeah this is gonna make still like three or four yeah if you click somebody's supporter badge um they said that it's easier to find supporters that way to subscribe you can also click on those four squares at the bottom, but some people say they don't have the four squares. So if you have them, try that. But yeah, and I gotta eat the lettuce too, so. Thank you, Nadia. But yeah, so I'm gonna be making it. I'm not one to eat the same thing over and over again, but this is a meal that you can like eat and not be bored of it, in my opinion. You know what I mean? And it's pretty fulfilling too. And I mean, it's not unhealthy. I mean, it's pretty healthy, if I do say so myself.
I do feel like making some tea because I haven't had tea in a while. We're gonna use our new plates. We're gonna use our new plates. And we're gonna use a bowl to mix the... Can you guys hear me? I was getting a phone call. Baby's growing, he's the size of a corn. A head of corn, is that what it's called? What is that called? Can y'all hear me? Okay. As long as you guys can hear me. I need to use the tomato I've opened up too so it'll work perfect I'm gonna actually use the oven to preheat my lamb too with the pita because I don't feel like getting a pan dirty oh, shit. hi Shandy so where do we begin first and foremost it has come to my attention that ear of corn, okay. It has come to my attention that um, <laughs> I'm being cheated on. I hate how it's angled me like this, but the camera wants to always fall when it's like, when I'm not in the comments. Um, I had no idea I was in a relationship. <laughs> no clue um, uh, how do I say this mm, um, I had yeah I had no idea that um, I was in a relationship oh Shandy feel better girl news to me but you know what I learned something new about myself every single day so there's that. Um, I don't know if people are aware. Um, yeah, Mary, you click the subscribers hub. Um, I don't know if people are aware, but me and Josh broke up in December. I think people are, like don't realize that. And then we like try to like try to get like middle of January, but we weren't we weren't dating still then. Um so I'm not really sure how I can be getting cheated on if I'm not in a relationship. But That's news to me. Um, and I think, um, I think people fail to realize that we both are on dating websites. Have I been active on them the last three weeks? No. Um, do I have any interest in being active on them right now? No, because I'm focusing on me and baby boy with everything going on. Um, do, do I have love for Josh? Yes, never said I didn't. There's just a lot of hurt. Um, do I see us working it out? Maybe at some point, who knows? Am I mad at the person he became? <laughs> okay then, fuck yes. Um, he completely flipped the switch on me. Uh, in his eyes, I completely flipped a switch on him. But what he doesn't see is that I became the person I became because I was reacting to the way I was being treated and how I was being lied to. And it's not even like serious lies. It was just dumb lies. You know what I mean? But it was the whole point that it, it, they were like, they were lies. Um, 
and has he dated and talked to other females in the last few months? Yes, for sure. Do I know about that? Yes. I would be crazy to not know about that. We live in a very small town, one. Two, he has told me, just like I have told him, that we were dating. You know what I mean? Um, right, Rondo. So it's like, I don't understand why people are like trying to send me screenshots of him talking to females <sighs> when why are they sending my screenshots that I've of the guys that I talked to to him? <laughs> Jen, I know, right? So I think they're just like forgetting a piece of the puzzle to like well it's not even a little piece of the puzzle it's literally the fucking puzzle itself that we are not together and therefore you can't cheat on someone if you're not in a relationship with them right or am i crazy so i appreciate the screenshots but i already knew about them <laughs> um I, right, Amy. Um, am I going to come on here and say, you know, oh, we're a happy-go-lucky couple? No, we're just trying to figure everything out um, together. <laughs> we're trying to push past all of the anger and the hurt. And people are constantly like, well, you talked so much shit about him. No, I didn't. I spoke the truth. He, I Just like I told him, I'm going to tell you guys, you can be mad about what I said about you all day long. But I'm not going to sit here and have you telling people that um, this wasn't your child and not defend myself for it. It's just not going to happen. Um, I'm also not going to sit here and have people think that I took some huge advantage of you and forced you to lay down with me and have a child. It's just not going to happen. Um, and I'm also not going to lie and tell people that you're actively there or your family is actively there. <gasps> My spoon broke. Fucker. Um, when you're not, it's just, that's not something I'm going to do. I'm not going to make you seem like a good person if you're not being a good person. Um, so, there's that. Do I reg regret coming on here and venting and opening up about us? No. Because at the end of the day, uh, I have my st side of the story and he has his side of the story. Um, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles, but at the end of the day, it's not going to, it's what we are doing right now together, moving forward has nothing to do with what we were doing in the past. Does that make sense? So thank you for uh, letting me know that I'm being cheated on. But like I said, it is impossible to be cheated on if you're not in a relationship. Did I ask him about those text messages and all the stuff that I was sent? Yeah, I mean, I did. I'm not going to not ask him. But do I have a right to be mad about it or upset about it or sit here and be like, how dare you? No, because I was out here doing the same damn thing. Um, literally, I was out here dating and doing whatever I wanted. That would be 
weird of me to be upset about it. Now, if it was reset, then I would be like, all right, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, if it was, like, yesterday, I would be like, I thought we made it clear to, like, at least respect each other and not do that while we're trying to figure things out with the baby. But if it happened, um, if it happened weeks ago or before everything that has been happening, why would I be upset about it? Now, if I was lied to about it, then yeah. Um, thank you, Anne, but again, There's something wrong with you. Keep this off the internet and you talk shit about people, especially the baby daddy. I can't believe it that he came to you, even his family the way he was talking shit about them. What shit did I talk? Let me know, girl. What shit did I talk? I would love to know. I would love to know. Did I speak on their actions? Yes. Um, did I vent about their actions and what I was lied to about? Yes. But tell me what shit did I talk? I would love to know. I'll be waiting. I'd love to know what shit I talked. So whenever you're ready, just let me know. Comment it. So I don't miss it and keep bumping it in case I do miss it because I would love to know because I don't think people understand what shit talking is Because all I did was just vent about how I was being treated and how I was I don't know what shit I talked that's what I'm very confused about I would love to know said to all the parties. Not only that, if I were to come on a platform and talk shit, I would be crazy for doing that. Because it's a, it's a public platform. It's a very public platform in case you haven't noticed that. Oh no! How do we reach that? I lost, I lost the lamb meat to the bottom of this oven. Oh, shit. Um, can you who doesn't talk some kind of shit about their man? Oh, me and Josh talk shit to each other every single day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure every single person talks shit about their baby daddy or baby mama. But the thing is, is I never talked shit. Like, I never came on here and was like, he is literally does this, this, and that. I only spoke about, like, actual events that happened and actual things that were happening. And mind you, 
I was being talked about too. But he's not the bad guy, I am. All because what, he didn't come on the internet and talk about it? Because he doesn't have a platform. He couldn't vent and talk about it. But he could go around and talk at baby showers and parties and to mutual friends and all of that. Right, Rondo. Um, I just think it's funny. He hasn't been drinking as much, no. That vinegar. Aaron, you better stop. <laughs> My apartment's very roomy, yes. I had a really bad day yesterday. Um. Uh, Christina, the first update will be in supporters. Bless you. Thank you, guys. That vinegar was like, bitch. Also, another rumor. Um, for some odd reason, people literally can't fathom the fact that I truly don't that I'm truly not on disability. Like, why would I lie about that? You know what I mean? Like, if I was on disability, why would I be like, I'm not on disability? It's not an embar it's not embarrassing to get help from the government. Some people need it. Some people don't need it. Um. So, where's my pita bread? Thank you, Kim. I don't understand why it's, why, why would be something that I lied about or would lie about? I mean, it's a given when you see somebody that is a wheelchair user and you physically see their disabilities, you would assume that they are on some kind of um, government assistance. Um, if they're not working full time or are unable to work, whatever it may be. But regardless, back to what I was saying, why, why is that something that I would lie about? <laughs> strange Colby I gotta let I gotta send you on your way buddy <clears throat> um I just don't I don't know I just oh man goodness <sighs> um I just don't see why that's something that like Thing, let's debunk. Um, I don't think people understand how moving processes work as far as like changing your benefits if you do have them. Um, when I first moved down here, you have the ability to live somewhere for a certain amount of time before you have to like How do I word it? 
before you can be like, I officially live here. Does that make sense? Because I could have totally moved down to Alabama and then six months in been like, yeah, you know what? It's not for me and moved somewhere else. You know? Um, I think people fail to realize that. Also, if you don't have an ID with a current address, of a state that you physically moved into, you, you don't become an actual resident of that place until you get a state or government ID. So, I don't know if people know that or not. <laughs> um, speak on it actually oh there's there's all kinds of ways that I could still get it yeah I just don't about a settlement settlement a million times i'm not even gonna start that debate back up because people are gonna think i'm lying about that too so no i haven't yet angela i need to get it it's the internet for sure but you don't always have to be so invasive on someone's life I feel like I'm a pretty open book but as much as I have a platform on Facebook and post about my life your personal Facebook page is just as it's, it's, it's just as public as mine. Um, that's how I see it. So you're also on a public platform. The only difference is you don't click the like button and talk about your life. You still post photos. You still uh, share where you've checked in when you're traveling. You still post pictures of your grandkids. You still post pictures of the beach when you go to the beach you still post pictures um or anything if you bought a new house you still post whether or not you've had a bad day you still do all of that the only difference is you don't have people that follow you like me but it still doesn't give you an excuse to be invasive on anyone's life at all. You know? <clears throat> Boom. Yeah, and that's what people fail to realize. It's like, you're as much on this public platform as I am. So how can someone be, how can someone come in here and be invasive on me? And then when I react or respond to their invasive questions, they're like, well, you shouldn't be on the internet. Okay, but you shouldn't be on the internet either if I can't ask you when's the last time you fucked your cousin. Now, do I know if you fuck your cousin or not? No. 
but see how I'm being invasive or assuming or base like making a judgment or basing my judgment off of your little profile picture or because of the way your cover photo is set up, the way you're hugging your cousin, you know, stuff like that. That's how rumors start. That's how assumptions build crazy things. And we just, I just wish that people wouldn't do that. You know? So. <laughs> I don't know how else I can explain it. Just because I have a public platform does not give anyone the right to degrade me or belittle me or become invasive in my life. Yeah, I, I share my life by all means, but as do you. But I'm not coming on here asking why your husband left you. I don't know you. And there's no reason for me to be invasive with you. Unless I came on here and be like, my husband left me. <sighs> then you could be like, oh, damn, why? But if I choose not to answer it, you can't be like, well, why did you tell us your husband left you then? Bitch, what? <sighs> Girl, what? Make it make sense. Do you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Is it making sense to you now? Does two plus two equals four? Yeah, Lorraine, you can make um, money being a content creator. Mimi, I don't know, man. Better start asking, bro. You better start messaging everybody in your family. And don't forget to make a page about the cousin fucker, too. That's very, very, very important. to lay down have a great uh nap girl sounds awesome i need one it's simple shit like that you know what i mean
<laughs> but it's just crazy, you know? People just try to justify their actions. And if you are so mad about the way I live my life, like, why stick around? If my life choices are just so horrible, why are you still here? If you don't like the way I'm decorating my apartment, cool. You don't live here. I could say the same shit about your place, but guess what? I don't care. What does activate it mean? It's like a little celebration. At the end, I made enough to have for two for tomorrow, so I don't have to make it again. Watch me not eat any tomorrow. My luck. Thank you for the 1400 stars. Who was that? I missed it. Diane, thank you, my love. Did we hit that star party? I missed it. Preparing this. What's for lunch? Another gyro. Gyro. That's the thing. I, I feel like I share so much. So it's just like, if I wanted you to know it all, I would share it, you know? Or if I do plan on sharing it, give me time. Because this is real life, you know what I mean? I still have to process and like handle things. Um, Melissa, uh, click on someone's green badge in the comments and see if that works. I got some chips and I also got some strawberries. just twitched. Do you guys see that? And yeah, there's ugly people everywhere. I did make it a little crispy, yeah. Jane, I need to order wax warmers. Will you send me your link? Um, Frank is laying on, in the bedroom entrance. stars babe no because when me and josh weren't on talking terms people were mad that we weren't on talking terms 
Now that we're on talking terms, people are mad that we're on talking terms. You can't win. But all right, I'm gonna jump off here so I can eat. Carry up to a week. Um, Marie, the veggies are cold, but the meat and the pita is warmed up, so. Oh yeah, Jane, if it's still, if my party is still active, yeah. So, I appreciate you guys. I hope that like answered some questions and I won't be getting any more weird comments, but you know, somebody might miss this live and still comment all that crazy stuff. They're just coming from pages. And um, exactly, Patsy. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and I'm gonna go eat on my patio because it's absolutely gorgeous out. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.